we want to talk about economic growth and quite specifically private sector job growth. What can we do as a state to encourage private sector job growth? What can we do as a state uh, to make this the best place to start and grow a business? Minnesota job creators are tired and stressed out from this economy, from this recession, and from governments, governments of all levels, that keep changing the rules, keep changing the regulations, keep changing the laws and the statutes. Kind of this never-ending mix of rules and regs has helped to create that, uh, that air of uncertainty that people talk about. If you are uncertain and you're a job creator, you're not going to create jobs. So what can we do to help job creators feel more certainty uh, about Minnesota? The other thing we've heard was we're still a high place, a, a high cost state. Minnesota is still a high cost state to do business in. And so we're going to take another run at reducing taxes, very specifically the statewide business property tax, something that, that we can work on here in St. Paul. That's something that we actually passed last year. Uh, the statewide business property tax has an inflator on it. We're going to take that inflator off and eliminate the tax over the course of a number of years. So we want to reduce costs to job creators and we want to give them more certainty. I, I spoke with one person. Uh, she's a cleaner. She has one employee herself and she's getting out of the business because she has found out she's been audited by the state and if she dusts a shelf on the wall she is not taxed. If she dusts a table that is not attached then she is taxed on that. She has to pay sales tax. And she doesn't understand these things. So even small employers, small people, small business people are having challenges with the re these regulations. So you have large corporations, small corporations that are all being affected by these things. And that's, that's why this is so important.